Hey guys, welcome back to Zoel's World. Today we have an unboxing from Rob and Melody at Disney Connections. So stay tuned. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm laughing because I know if you watch that intro, there are some of you who are Disney Connections fans who are about to come for me in the comments like, her name is Melanie, not Melody. I know her name is Melanie, guys. <laughs> that is a private inside joke that Melody and I are going to share. She knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I have a very interesting box today. Rob and Melanie over at Disney Connections, I have become really big fans of theirs. They from time to time apparently put together mystery boxes. Like I don't even know how I found, I, I, I don't know if it was on a YouTube video that I was watching or if I was on their Facebook group, because they do have a Facebook group, so I will link that in the description box below as well as their channel information. Um, because they do amazing content. They have like a Taco Tuesday where they talk like all things Disney. They have a, a live stream on Saturdays where they talk all things Disney, Disney news. So, and, and they do everything. They're teachers, they're travel agents, they're, they're everything. And they're funny and they're cute and they're sweet. And I love couples on YouTube. So check out their channel. I'll link it below. Anyhow, I found out that Melanie was putting together these um, mystery boxes and I always have this, um, you know, FOMO, fear of missing out on everything. So I too needed a Melanie curated mystery box. One of the reasons I needed one is because Melanie likes to shop. We all know that if you watch Disney Connections, you know Melanie's always buying stuff. She's kind of like me in that regard. So I wanted to see what kind of things did Melanie buy and what kind of things did she put in the box for me. So we are just going to dig right on in. This box is huge by the way, okay? It is huge. And she instructed the post office to handle with care and clearly they didn't, but okay. I digress. Ooh, look, it is so cute on the inside. It is packaged so nicely. And you guys know how I feel about packaging. So here's what I see when I open up the box. So let's see, what's in your box? Spoiler list, so she does include a little spoiler sheet so we won't look at that. And she has a touch of Disney, California, which is always a nice touch because I have never been to the Disney parks in California. So I'm actually gonna enjoy looking at this map. And yeah, I know you can get it online, it's not the same as having the actual um, map from the park because I do the same thing in some of my mis my um, magic mail. I include like the Epcot, um, flower and garden which was the most recent festival I went to and then look at this postcard and she put a little note on the back but she didn't write on a postcard she just put on a little sticky it says enjoy curated by Rob and Melanie Disney connections so here's a cute little postcard I love that it's like Figaro and Pluto and there's some bubble wrap which I will be reusing yes oh and everything is pretty much wrapped so here's a Tiana sticker right on top. Zoelle's gonna love this. She has one that we got from Mickey Loot. So we are gonna add that to the collection. I think she now has like Tiana, um, Belle, and Moana. And then here's what's inside. So let's just dig right on in. So there are one, two, three, four five items inside and this box was a hundred dollars i can't remember if it was a hundred dollars ship or a hundred dollars plus shipping but let's dig right in to see what we have we have this first thing it feels like a bottle Oh yes, okay, so it is a Disneyland water bottle. And the nice thing about these Disneyland Resort water bottles, water bottles like this is it is insulated. Like I do not like like the water bottles that aren't insulated because I live in Charleston, South Carolina, and it is hot. So like if I wanna take water out with me on a walk or something and I put cold water in and then it's in like a bottle that's not insulated, 
that water becomes really like tepid very quickly so and I don't have any insulated water bottles so this is nice I have like a lot of like the insulated turbis like cups but this will be good for a walk okay so are we gonna go little or big let's go smallest to biggest so the next thing I see is a pin and it's in like one of these little sachet bags and that's great and has some like fools in it because I will be reusing this bag so when I send out magic mail so let's just kick that to the side Ooh, and it is a Disney hotel pin with Mickey and Minnie just kind of chilling on a beach which is like a perfect for summer I love that that is so cute so it's Disneyland hotel some palm trees oh my goodness guys let's see I wanted this to focus like really really good for you I love that that is amazing and it's just you know it's the standard Disney pin here's the back with your Mickey waffling so that is super cute so like these boxes they're not like custom right they're not curated to like your own custom taste they're just they're mystery boxes um and so there's another item that's in here and it's really heavy whatever it is and let's see oh it's a magnet and a bottle opener my husband will love this you can like open i'm presuming this is a bottle opener and you can open stuff with it i'm gonna try it hopefully it doesn't break <laughs> but it is a magnet and i love i love magnets i have them all over my refrigerator and it is a discover the magic disneyland resort mickey magic mickey magnet and it's like a compass so like you guys can't probably can't see like right here but it has like numbers like latitude and longitude numbers and it's like a compass so that's pretty cool so maybe it's not a bottle opener if it's a compass i don't know all right we have two more things and let's see okay this is the next thing we're gonna open everything is like wrapped individually in bubble wrap Ooh, how cute okay this is a disneyland 65th anniversary lounge fly wallet and you guys know i love my lounge fly so okay there is all of the things i can't tell you what any of this stuff is i can tell you based on what's obvious that is a castle i have never been to disneyland that looks like space mountain and clearly minnie and mickey and it looks like there may be like a small world and a jungle cruise and i don't know if some of these things are things that are at disneyland that are not at disney world which is my park but look inside i love this it's like a smaller wallet so it's not like a billful it's not like the longer wallets but it has plenty of compartments and then it has like um you know for bills up there and it has you know the lounge fly on the zipper pull and it says disney lounge fly on the back the happiest place on earth and then it has a zipper compart oh and it has a lining on this inside let's check that out oh my goodness it's it has the sensational six and chippendale on the lining so there is goofy and pluto and minnie and mickey and donald and daisy and chip and dale on the lining o m g I can't have the wallet without the bag. You guys already know that. You saw that from my Bippity video. If you didn't see that Bippity video, it's on my other channel, Being a John Eclair, where I was very explicit that I cannot have the wallet without the bag. So thanks, Melanie. You have now required me to purchase yet another lounge fly bag, as if I needed another reason to do that. <laughs> like, it's your fault. <laughs> Well, my husband asked, why am I getting a Disneyland 65th anniversary lounge fly? Oh, well, since you sent me the wallet, can you please check and see if they have the bag in the parks? Because I'd rather get it from the park and not have to pay like eBay or Mercari prices. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and here's our last thing. Oh. <laughs> and it 
is <laughs> a Funko Pop with Mickey and Sleeping Beauty Castle for the 65th anniversary Funko Disneyland connection. Funko Disneyland collection, <laughs> not connection. And these are all of the ones that are in this set. Obviously, this is the biggest one. And it's so, the reason I started laughing when I saw this is because I actually have this one already. But Melanie doesn't know that because it's still sitting in a box because I haven't gotten around to filming it because it is from Pop in a Box and <sighs> that is about to be a whole another like rant video so <laughs> but thank you this is definitely an extra so it will I don't know maybe this will go in a giveaway maybe it'll go in a swap do you love this let me know so um well this was a fun box oh my goodness this was a fun box let's see what the spoiler sheet says spoilerless let's see Oh, and she puts the prices on there. So, the Disneyland Tumblr, which was this thing, $29.99. Oh, it is a bottle opener. See, I'm smart. The magnet and bottle opener was $9.99. The Lounge Fly, $40. The Castle Funko, which was this one, $30. The Tiana sticker. <laughs> Melanie, I really hope this is a typo. <laughs> Tell me this is a typo. <laughs> the Tiana sticker is not $29.99, right? If you pay $29.99 for the sticker, we can no longer be friends. <laughs> so this was $4.99, so not $29.99. Um, and then the Disneyland Resort pin, which is here was $9.99 and then the postcard which is here was a dollar for a total retail price of $125.96 so that was totally a typo um I double checked <laughs> I double checked the numbers just to make sure my girl wasn't like going wonky yes yeah, so everything in the box with the right price of the Tiana sticker um, totaled out to what the total says here, which is $125.96. And like I said, I paid $100 for the box. Or I can't remember if I paid $100 plus shipping or if it was $100 shipped. But even if it was shipping, I can't imagine shipping was more than like $15. So that's still more value than what I paid. So a great box, Melanie. I loved all of the items and um somebody is going to get a funko pop <laughs> so let me know in the comments below how much you love that funko and again this was so much fun thank you again rob melanie over at disney connections make sure you guys check them out um give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber and remember this is the world's world i just live in it bye